award is for the SPIR STTR recipients of the year. SPA's SPIR STTR program helps high tech R&D focused businesses grow. This year's SPIR STTR recipients of the year has used two SPIR, SPIR grants to develop tabletop digital and virtual reality educational games. They partnered with school districts in several states and have worked with more than 1,000 students across the country. This year's SPIR and PTR recipients of the year are Jessica Ochoa Hendricks, Mandy Holfer, Lindsay Formby of Killer Snails. John, we're very happy you're in your job, regardless of what Jason says. Thank <laughs> 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 you everyone from the New York office, Beth and especially Bailey, who've been very supportive since we've won the award. Uh, my name is Mandy Halford. I'm the Chief Scientist, Scientific Officer of Killer Snails. I'm also a real life scientist at Hunter College and the American Museum of Natural History. And I work with um, the venom from predatory marine snails. You might not think that snails can eat fish, but these snails actually do. And we study how their venom can be used to help develop new drugs for treating things like pain and cancer. And it's this kind of exciting and extreme biodiversity that we wanted to bring out of the laboratories and into the classrooms. Why we started um, Killer Snails, which is what the company's named after, the, the, the snails that I study in my laboratory. And we wanted to bring these out of the out of the laboratory and into the classroom in a way that would be both exciting and wonderful and share the wonder and joy of science that I have in the lab with my students in my lab and with my group and really try to mimic real world science, real time in classrooms and also in living rooms. And so um, Lindsay <laughs> will tell you a little bit about how we make it into the classroom. Hi, I'm Lindsay Portnoy. I am a cognitive psychologist and the chief learning officer at Killer Snails. Uh, and meeting Mandy and seeing the extreme creatures of nature, uh, I thought what a wonderful way to sort of break the barriers between the classroom and the real world, right? Giving kids opportunities to take on the role of scientists and to enact science, see themselves as scientists, and then provide to teachers the formative feedback that they need to uh, improve and impact and sort of pivot on their instruction in the classroom so that every child has the opportunity to receive the feedback that they need and see themselves as a female scientist. <laughs> and I am Jessica Ochoa Hendricks, and I am so, so honored to be here today with my co-founders. And really, I wanted to say a bunch of thank yous to people. So we are the um, Small Business Innovation Research Award winners, which means that we owe a huge thank you both to the Small Business Administration, to the New York City Regional Innovation Node, to the National Science Foundation, who is the entity who gave us our grants, to um, i which was the very first program that we entered in beginning this process to Springboard Enterprises, which has opened a lot of doors for us and made connections that have been invaluable throughout New York City. For partners who have worked with us, including the American Museum of Natural History, the New York Hall of Science, um, our wonderful collaborators like Jenny Lamb is here with us, um, the Independent Game Developers Association, and Playcrafting, who's also worked with us in this very building. And we wanted to kind of close out by um, with a, with a quick thank you and shout out back to uh, Joe Connolly and say, we want to be the, uh, the scrabble of educational science games. We want to be easy and accessible and fun. We just won uh, yesterday an international gold medal from Serious Play. And would you like to hire us? That's great. impressive. <laughs> I can't wait to go home and tell my wife we're 